Okay, in this video, um, we're going to show how to make this uh, CSS animation. Um, actually, probably without the, the top, just going back and forth. Uh, but anyway, we're going to do um, a CSS animation. Instead of just using the CSS transitions, there's actually a difference. Uh, let's say you want it to just be running all the time. Uh, CSS animations are are really nice. So uh, we're going to go back to our CSS and we're going to go ahead and remove um, this. Now we actually don't need our editor class anymore. We just need this box. Now the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to create um, what's called a keyframe. So it'll look something like this. At keyframes, and we're going to call it uh, some animation. So move animation. You can call it really whatever you want. And you can use various things, like you can also use percentages. But we're going to just do something simple. Actually, let's do 300. And now we need to do the same thing, but for a prefix. So um, let's call this WebKit. And of course, uh, same thing as the last video. We're going to have to make the, the Moz O MS as well. Now, um, to do this, we have to call our animation by doing, um, oh yeah, we're not using transition, we're using animation. And we're going to call this move animation. And we get to give it a time. So let's do one second. And of course, do the same thing, but with a WebKit. And let's see if it works. Oh, and I use top, um, but really we should be using left. So it goes, we can see it a little bit better. And you can see that it actually did did move, um, but um, and it moved automatically. But we want this to run on an infinite loop, so we can just go over here, type in infinite, and you can see that now it's moving in a cool way. Now we want this to loop, so instead of using a from and to, I'm going to have to use a percent. Let's just see if this works. You can see it's the same exact thing. What that really tells us is that we get to customize this a bit more. And we're going to put, make this a 50%. And then our 100% is going to return us back to our zero pixels. You can see that now it's going back and forth over a duration of a second. Now, what's nice about animation is if you want to customize this and make it like super slow, all you have to do is adjust the time right there. Same thing with transitions, by the way. And now there's nothing you have to do, nothing you have to click, and it's just gonna work. So if you want an animation to constantly running, this really, really makes a big difference. Now, if you did want to make it so it's a like a clickable animation that maybe it's only going to start once you um, click. You can always add a class to this and call our animation okay, 
going to call an animation only on a move. Okay, so I'm going to refresh this. This doesn't work, but if I click this, oh, we, um, we actually should remove our timeout. We just want to add a class move. Now it actually moves on click, and it's going to continue moving. Let's, uh, let's make this a bit faster so we can actually see things moving. Let's do a one second instead of a 10 seconds. I click it, and now it starts the animation, and I don't have to do anything. Now if I go ahead and click this again, it doesn't do anything because it's only adding the move, because that's according to our jQuery. Anyway, I hope this uh, makes sense for the CSS animation, um, and I hope you understand the differences between animations and transitions. Uh, they can both come in handy depending on what you're doing. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment on this video. And if you missed other videos, uh, look into uh, on Brodsky.tv. Um, you can search for them. Talk to you soon. Bye.